As we get into the winter, that also means cold and flu season is coming in full force. And yes, pharmaceuticals can be helpful, but many people are looking for natural options to help ward off symptoms and boost immunity. That can be done with honey. So says my next guest, wellness expert and co-founder of local honey producers, Dutchman's Gold, Angela Eiseldijk. Thank you for doing this. Thank you, Jason. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay, so honey, I think everybody remembers grade nine. Uh, they know that bacteria doesn't grow in honey. It's that fun fact we all remember about science. But why has it been such a focus for you uh, in your career as a wellness expert? Yeah, well, you know what, Jason? I grew up on the Dutchman's Gold Honey Farm. So I definitely grew up with honey. And honey is, yes, a natural sweetener, but it's also a functional food. It's naturally antibacterial, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, which makes it a great staple for not only the sweetener, but also to help boost your immune system and help you stay supported all year long. So yeah, I mean, I, I love honey. You know, you definitely, if you want to be looking for honey, you want to have something that's unpasteurized because that will preserve the natural goodness found in honey, the enzymes, you know, all the goodness that's in honey. So you definitely want that. Um, and you're right, it does, it never goes bad. So it never expires. And so lots of ways you can use it. Um, you know, you can use it in your tea, on your toast, and, and then you can also use it in some of your special drinks to help you um, with your immune system. So let's talk about the immune system because I have heard, you know, there's the buzzword, let's boost our natural immunity. And honey has definitely been linked to that. Or it's actually not just honey, right? Like it's bee products. Bees are these magical little creatures. So tell me about boosting immunity and doing so naturally. Yeah, you know, when you look under the hood of the hive, Jason, it is a really a wonder. I mean, the bees are super intelligent and they make all these different ingredients. So there's a few of them. So there's bee propolis, there's bee pollen, and there's royal jelly. Um, but for the purpose of really talking about how to keep yourself strong all year long, bee pollen is really popular. I believe it's going to be the next best superfood. It is growing like crazy. Um, and so when you look at it, it's loaded with nutrition. It's got, it's very colorful in, in you know, looking at it. So we know it's going to be loaded with antioxidants, the things that are going to help to keep your cells really strong. And it's got vitamins, minerals, things like that. So you can add it to your smoothies. You can add it to your yogurt. You can add it to your, eat just as on its own, really. Um, and so there's lots of ways you can use bee pollen every single day, kind of like nature's superfood and multivitamin. So you mentioned bee pollen to me actually off the air, but then there was something else that you told me about that I had, I had never even heard of. And it's another bee product and you've been using it since you were a kid. What, what is this, this magical product? So bee propolis. And so bee propolis, do you know what that is? <laughs> I do not. I need the explanation here. Okay, so bee propolis is actually made by bees from resin, poplar, pine. They use it to seal the cracks of their hive to keep invaders out. And so the inside of the hive is pristine. And so we can use it as humans for our own wellness. It's excellent for helping to boost your immune system as well as to relieve sore throat and mouth infections. It's got 500 compounds in there, lots of research. And I mean, I grew up on it. I had to eat it raw, but we've come a long way with bee, with bee propolis in that you can now get it in tincture format. You can get it in spray format and you can also get it in gummy format. So really great to have this in your medicine cabinet. If you feel a tickle coming on your throat, um, but you can also use honey if you have a tickle on your throat as well. So if you want, you can mix honey with things like apple cider vinegar for a gargle, um, or you can use it with garlic to help make your own very own cough syrup. So Lots of things you can use from the hive, not only to help keep you strong and healthy all year long, but also to help boost you if you've got something in your throat. Yeah, I love it because there's so many different options uh, when it comes right down to it. And it does have that coating effect as well. So it's it's great to be able to toss into, easily toss into a whole bunch of your foods. So Angela, you know, what is your absolute go-to? Here it is, I'm feeling a little under the weather. You know, you've got the, the just the start of the tickle in the throat, or maybe you feel it in the lungs, or maybe you got a, you know, your nose is starting to run, you have a headache, just the start of things. What's, what's your your secret mix? What's your go-to to keep you glowing? Well, I mean, I, I'm a bias to the beehive. So bee propolis, if I feel that tickle, I definitely go to that. I mean, I load my whole family up with it. So bee propolis is where it's at for sure. <laughs> there you go. We've learned a little yep. something today. Angela, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for doing this. Uh, and I uh, hope to chat with you again. Best of luck with all the bees. Thank you so much, Jason. Great to be here.